Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shantae from Simply Shantae's Plans. In today's video, I'll be doing a plan with me in my hourly neutral layers life planner. My hourly life planner is my memory planner, but it's also my weekly overview that I refer to each week. I typically leave this planner at home and use it in the mornings and evenings, but then take my daily planner around with me. Now you might be thinking, why is this one neutral layers when all of those beautiful planners just came out? And you're right, I do have a brand new Flora Hourly Planner. This is an 18th month planner that starts in July of 2021, and it goes all the way through December of 2022. The reason why I'm not using this yet is because I love to have my weekly plans in a calendar year. It's easier for memory keeping that way in my opinion. What I like to do is get the 18th month at launch time so I can get the larger coil because I do like to add stickers and quotes and tickets and things like that in here and it makes the planner super thick. So what I'll actually end up doing when I start setting up this planner is I will actually go ahead and take out the first six months so that way it's just a January through December but I still have that extra large coil. So for now I'm going to set this aside and we will get started on my neutral hourly layers life planner. We are going to be planning in the week of May 10th through May 16th and we are going to be using all flora. I am completely obsessed with the new flora oops this is upside down the new flora pattern and design and I just really can't get enough of it. So this week in my life planner it is going to be all flora. I have like I just showed I have these four sticker sheets that come coiled in the back of the flora life planners. I have the flora sticker book here. Then I also have some flora washi tape that we will be using as well. I did want to quickly point out because I have been asked before how I do my pre-planning and I want to show you guys this. What I've been using is this Let's Plan For It mini sticky notepad from Erin Condren because it has all of the days of the weeks on it. I've been putting one of these per week and just filling it in when I know. So this one I have filled in throughout the month of May and I currently have a bunch of stuff planned on each day so this is a good way to avoid using multiple sticky notes if you're like me and don't always have them or lose them or whatever um, but still want to pre-plan your week. I can leave a link for this little notepad down below in my bio if you're interested in it. I like to plan one side at a time so that is what I'm going to do now and I'm actually going to start at the bottom with this washi tape. I never use this line down here at the bottom. I'm not really sure why, but I'm gonna cover it up with some washi tape now. <laughs> After I finish putting down this washi tape, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and plan the rest of the week. Thank you so much for tuning in with me and I hope you like this video.
All right, everyone, that is it for this plan with me. Here is the full done version for now. Of course, I'm gonna go add in my weekends, my to-do list and my habits here after I'm finished filming, but this is pretty much the gist of it. Um, I didn't use a kit this week and I am still figuring out how I feel about that because I am a heavy kit user. For example, here's a kit, here's a kit. Ugh, not that page. <laughs> you know, always using kits, um, even on the monthly spreads. So I challenge myself a bit with this one, but I really love, love, love these Flora stickers, and I'm super happy with the color palette. You can actually find these Flora accessories on the EC website now, and I will link those below for you. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Be sure to comment and like this video as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that you know when I post my next video. That's it for now. I'll catch you in the next one.